I want to write a very simple example application that outputs a given string by applying different algorithms or strategies, depending on the user input. I'm going to use the strategy pattern, because the strategy that is used to output the string will only be determined at runtime. First, I'm creating an output strategy interface. Each strategy or algorithm that is used to create the output string has to implement this interface. The first strategy couldn't be easier, it just returns the given string. So the output that the strategy creates is equal to the input. The second strategy, however, will output the byte slice of a given string. First, the string is converted into a slice of bytes and then converted back to a string using the percent %v format specifier. If you print it, you can see the individual bytes of the string. Next, I'm creating the so-called context of the strategy pattern. Here, the context is the printer, whose task is it to print the output string by using a specific output strategy. The context has a reference to the common behavior, that means the strategy interface. Here the common behavior is the creation of output strings, which is exactly what the output strategy interface specifies. As you can see, the printer or context also has a method to set the strategy. This is for changing it at runtime. The print method of the printer is the so-called operation of the strategy pattern. It varies based on the different strategies. As you can see, the output of the print method will vary based on the strategy that has been set. I'm going to finish the main method of the application real quick. It takes two command line arguments. One for the input string and one for the strategy that should be applied to create the output. As you can see, I'm using a switch statement to set the output strategy of the printer depending on the respective command line argument. In case there is no strategy, the application will exit and print an error. Note that I have to dereference the input and strat variable, because the flag.string method returns a pointer to a string. Lastly, I'm calling the print method of the printer to write the output. First, I'm running the program with the string strategy so that the output will be equal to the input string. After that, I'm changing the command line argument so that the byte strategy will be used and a slice of bytes will be printed. Besides switching between different strategies or algorithms dynamically at runtime, one major advantage of the strategy pattern is that the code is easily extensible. As you can see, I'm demonstrating this by adding a third strategy that will create the output for the respective slice of runes. Consider liking or subscribing if you want to support the creation of more videos like this.